Isn't Oaxaca beautiful? Isn't it? A little bit sunny and hot, but look at this is one of my favorite streets, by the way, in Oaxaca. Maybe someone in the comments can write down where this is. I have no idea the name of it. But I'm going on a little walk today. I thought I'd bring you along with me. Maybe it's a little bit cold where you are, a little bit rainy. And I was like, why don't I just bring you guys along on this little walk? Because this is a very special message. Not planned. I had something else I want to talk about today. But this, this today is for, for the person who feels lost watching this. Feeling a little bit lost. Look at that. From France with love. Wow. Just for the person who feels lost. I know you might not believe me. I know you might not believe me. You might feel like you have such a big problem right now. Like something's going on. It's been on your mind for a long time. Uh, probably longer than you can even, even imagine. Before it was a big problem, it was a little problem. And I just wanted to remind you that, that you don't have a problem. I'm gonna tell you what you have. I know it sounds crazy, you're not gonna believe me, but I'm gonna tell you exactly what you have and it's gonna make perfect sense to you. And wow, I've never been here before. Look at this place. Huh. Okay, maybe I'm gonna go in there later. Huh. I'm gonna tell you what you guys have. Stick with me. This has the potential to change it all. Because you might feel like you have a problem. You don't have a problem. This is what you have. Are you ready? Are you ready? You have a decision to make. That's it. You don't have a problem. You have a decision to make. And because you haven't made that decision, you're on the fence, you're in the middle like that, haven't made a decision, not sure what to do. Now is why you think you have a problem. You have a decision to make, that's it. <laughs> Some of you, it's a simple decision of, am I gonna stay or am I gonna go? And because you haven't committed to that decision, you're like miserable. You might not feel miserable because you feel like you're doing more now than ever, but you're just doing that because it's helping you feel and forget about your misery. And I'm no exception. I have, anytime I have a problem, I remind myself, Luke, you don't have a problem, you have a decision to make. You're gonna go to the gym or you're not gonna go to the gym. You're gonna make the call, or you're not gonna make the call. You're gonna work on your business or you're not gonna work on your business. Let me show you guys around while I'm walking. So you guys can get a little bit of a view. One of my favorite places, because no one's ever here, actually. I've actually never been to these cafes, but I usually walk here in the morning and there's never anyone here. It's crazy. It's like an underrated place of Oaxaca. And you guys always ask me the name of places. This is the restaurant. Just Google that restaurant. And if you Google that restaurant, it'll tell you where this is. <laughs> That's the best I can do. We're gonna go for a little walk. And for the, you all in the comments who say like, Luke, Feels like I'm walking and talking with a friend. Yo, I appreciate you so much. And that's how I feel right now. Like lately, as I've been making these videos, I feel like I'm talking. I'm just talking to my friend. I'm talking to you. I know you've just been going through a lot and sometimes you just need, I don't know, you just need a friend. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I can be that for you. But you got a decision to make. I want you to think about it. You've been on the verge. You've been half making a decision. So of course you're gonna feel lost. Of course you're gonna feel lost. Like imagine if you just can't make a decision. Imagine if I'm here, I need to get over there, and I need to get over there, I wanna get over there, I wanna go see what that thing is, it looks like a chair. But yet I don't know if I wanna cross this. This is what's standing in the way. So now I'm gonna just walk back and forth here, I'm gonna pace back and forth, I'm, gonna, I'm actually thinking about it, should I cross the water? Now, because I'm waiting here, I'm just gonna sit here and stay here because it's easier. But really, all I really need to do is just make a decision. I don't have a problem. There's not a problem. The water's not a problem. Because once I choose that I'm gonna cross it, now I'm looking, my brain automatically looks for a way to cross it. Once I say in my mind, I'm, I'm gonna cross it. Where's the best place to step down? That's the next question that comes to me. Like if I say to myself, I'm gonna cross this river, my brain looks for ways to cross the river. 
Now I want you to imagine if I just stayed here, I'm like, I don't know if I want to cross it. I don't know, the water looks a little dirty. I'm not wearing the right shoes. I don't know about all this stuff and looks dirty, the water. Now I've got a problem, but not really. I need a decision. We're not going to cross it. We're going to go back to the bike or we're going to cross it. And that's where people stay at. This, this is it. Like, I don't know, walk up the stairs a little bit, then come back down. Like, no, I actually really want to. Then you don't do it. Then you go and you just make a decision. I'm going to cross it. Okay. So let's find a place to cross. This is a perfect example. And this was not pre-planned. Whoa. Okay. And by the way, I, uh, I might do a review on Crocs, guys. I think they're an ugly shoe. I've always thought that. But I started wearing Crocs, and they're actually, they're actually not bad. They're actually not bad. <laughs> I'm going to do a review on some Crocs. Because I'm about to take a trip, and I was like, I'm looking. I wear flip-flops all the time, but I was like, I want to try something different. <laughs> so expect a little bit of a review, a review on Crocs coming up soon. We'll be talking about how cool they are or what you can do with them. So look, I've made, I've made my decision. I don't have a problem crossing here. The problem was in the indecision that I made of whether I want to or not. Some of you guys just need to decide like literally right now. <laughs> Let me give you a simple thing. Do it or don't. Take the leap now or don't do it. Stop tormenting yourself <laughs> in that world of indecision of not knowing whether you want to or not. You act like it's going to get easier, like somehow, whoa, like somehow the decision is going to get easier for you. Like, why would the decision get easier for you? <laughs> Unless you're using your metric of making a decision based on how much pain you feel. Because believe me, pain will motivate you, but it doesn't, you don't have to make it that way, my friends. You can just enjoy and be happy where you are and just make decisions like it's going to be scary. Like, just like crossing this river, like, it's scary, it smells bad, I don't know what's in it, I can get my socks wet, a lot of things. But you gotta make a decision. Some of y'all just aren't making decisions, look at that. Goodness, well, I had thought about sitting there, but actually maybe not. I think it was a beautiful seat at one point in time. Some of y'all got a decision to make. Some of you have a decision to make. And me, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. That's why I make these videos, walking around, letting you guys see where I am, what I'm doing. And at the same time, letting you know the realness. Maybe someone's not going to tell you. Someone's going to be like, ah, oh, it's okay. You still got time. No, you don't. Don't fall for that trick. You still got time. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's the biggest trick. You still got time. The only people who say you still have time... The only way you can possibly believe that is if you believe that nothing's going to change from the way it is now. If everything goes the way that it is now, everything keeps going the way it is now, then yes, you still do have time. And that's a deep assumption to make. That's a big assumption to make that nothing's going to change. Someone in your family's not going to get sick. Like you're not going to have any kind of problem where you have health problem where you can't do something or you got to help someone else out or they don't close the border or you don't lose a job or you don't have an unexpected expense, or you don't have unexpected family, or something, something that goes on. Like what, like, what, what are you thinking you have time for? Like I think that's one of the biggest tricks. I think the first biggest, I think the biggest trick in the world is when people say it's not that simple. It can't be that easy. That's the number one. That's by far the number one. Number one by far is that. Number one by far is that. Without question, actually, thinking it can't be that simple. Why can't it be that simple? What makes it not that simple? You don't like where you are now, move. It's not that simple, Luke, I have a family. Move them as well. But Luke, you don't understand, I don't really have money. Do you have a job? Have you inquired about, can you transfer? Are there other opportunities? What skills do you have? Is there an opportunity online to help someone else who, who's looking for those skills? Can you teach something? Can you share something? Can you show something? Do you have a camera phone? Can you film something on there for the internet? Like, it's just the resourcefulness in people's minds is what kind of blows my mind sometimes. Like, thinking you have time and thinking it can't be that simple. Like, it is that simple. Guys, it's that simple. You want to lose weight? Some of y'all are going on some crazy diets. I know I have. 
Go to the gym for an hour a day. And if you really want the secret, go to the gym for five minutes a day. Do it for a month. I guarantee you, you will be shocked at the results. You will be shocked. But those of y'all who feel lost, I hope that you can understand a little bit of why, you'll feel, why you'd feel lost, why you do feel lost. This indecision that you're in and all the things that come with that. Like what would stop someone from making a decision? There's beliefs that you have. If you want to go deeper into it, this is kind of what we talk about in my group coaching. We, we actually, we, if you guys want to, we start actually tomorrow. We start on the first of the month, first, second, and third of the month. We have the group coachings. It's not even that you're just in this, the in this indecision that you have. The problem is what you have to believe to not make a decision. That's where the problem is. One of the things I talk about in the group coaching actually is people, we, we get caught in this and we think it's one thing, like I just can't make decisions. And it's like, yeah, of course you can make decisions. When you go to a restaurant, you don't just say, I can't make a decision, I'm not gonna eat anything. You just have a million questions that you throw out there. Some of you guys can't make a decision on what to do, what you, where you should go. Like, well, what do you want? Let's start there. First thing we start with in working with anybody, what do you want? Because maybe you're making decisions and you don't know what you want. If you want a different life, now it does make it pretty easy to maybe move. That accomplishes it, but also maybe hang out with new friends, reading new books, getting new perspectives. So I want to just remind you that you're not, you don't just feel lost and it's just some random thing. You're just not making a decision. And like I say, I'm no different. Don't take me as like, man, Luke just knows everything. Like I'm struggling, trying to, I'm trying to figure it out myself. I inconvenience my life a lot by not making a decision. But I notice, like, if you can make decisions quicker, you might not, it might, most things we have to learn the hard way. You don't have to, but a lot of times we do. Making decisions quick, man, if I can give you one thing, make a decision quick. Go out, yes or no. Take your number, yes or no. Go here, yes or no. Look for a job, yes or no. Research where I want to go, yes or no. Like, there's people that I talk to, some people who have book calls, who have been like, you know, I really want to travel here, but I'm not sure what the budget is. I'm like, well, how long have you wanted to, to travel there? And they've like, I've just been like four or five years. And I'm like, well, it doesn't sound like you really want to travel there. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, well, you say you want to travel somewhere. We're going to keep walking, by the way. We're going to go back across the river because I decide to. <laughs> I was like, so you've been wanting to go visit this place for four years and you don't know what budget you need to go there. That's incredible. You have access to so much information online so much data and yet you don't know how much people make there per month you can't just google that are you kidding me and it happens a lot every call i jump on there's usually something that people are like oh i never thought about that that's like one of the f classic things that i hear and you want like a little free advice here that people pay for with me and it sounds simple and I tell them we I tell them in the call and I tell them before the call I'm like you got to make a choice what do you want like I, I promise you if you guys if one of you guys book a call you will be shocked that you don't know what you want when, when you get on this call I can guarantee you if you actually know what you want and you guys schedule a call with me and you actually know what you want, I will give you your money back for the call. How's that guarantee? If you, if you get on a call with me and what you say, I'm gonna ask you, what do you want? It'll be the second question that I ask you. If you know what you want and it's actually what you want, I will give you your money back right there on the call and we will finish the call. That's how convinced I am that people don't really know what they want. Therefore, every other decision, it, it, does, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Because you don't know what you want. So that's, that's why you feel lost. Like if you don't know, like I want to get to the other side over there. Like that's what I say to myself. But that's not powerful for, enough for me to make a decision whether I want to cross this. Now if I can ask myself something different, like what do I actually really want? What I really want is to get out of the sun. Because now I can look around for places where I can get that accomplished and maybe I don't have to cross here. Or maybe I find the actual real reason why I wanna do it. 
And when you can find that new reason, you can find that new thing, that really why you want to do it, that changes a lot. So you don't feel lost, my friends. You just can't decide whether you want to cross this or not. It's that simple. So as long as you stay on this step, this is the step of problems right here. This is your step of problems. You can pace back and forth. You can go back and then you can go halfway across the river and come back because you haven't made a decision. And even because you take an action across the river, you haven't made a decision, I'm going to get to the other side, you still are going to have problems. Because why would you look for a way when it doesn't look like there's a way over there? Like you see over there, like it kind of looks like there's not a way to cross. I don't know if those rocks are stable. You got a lot of questions. Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's the way. But you haven't decided that I'm going to cross there. You haven't made a decision. And it's one of my favorite things working with people. It's like, I love being a life coach. I know it's very, everyone talks about it, but I really love it. And I've thought of different names to change it. Like, I'm a results coach, I'm a problem solver coach, I'm a solutionist coach, but really I just help people, I help people make a decision. I'm a decision coach. That's what I do. I help people make a decision. And I don't do the decision, I don't make the decision for them. I often don't even give advice. I've stopped doing that so much. But I just show people how the indecision is like killing them. How, because you haven't made a decision, look at all the pain that you're in, the people around you are in, the attitudes that you have towards everything, all because you haven't made a decision. But it just feels like, no, I just haven't decided yet. Uh, hola, <laughs> como estas? Todo bien? Perfecto, bon provecho. <laughs> Mexicans are always shocked that I speak Spanish. <laughs> and really, by the way, I'm wearing a hoodie. It's really hot here, by the way, but I'm just protecting myself from the sun and I'm on my motorcycle, so that's why. And by the way, we've reached, we crossed over half a million views on that video with the police on TikTok, so I appreciate you all for, uh, for being a part of that. It really means a lot to me, I appreciate it. But you gotta make a decision, man. Woman, person, whoever you are, you gotta make a decision. And until you make a decision, until you make a decision, you will always feel like you have a problem. Do it or don't. Learn how to do it or don't. Talk to that person or don't. Commit to that person or don't. And the last thing I'll say is I show you around here and I walk to my, back to my bike. I had a conversation with someone this morning and he was telling me about his business and I tell him about his wife's business. And he's like, you know, we're in a chill place right now. We don't really want to grow our business anymore. And the first question I asked him was like, you don't want to grow your business anymore? He's like, no. I was like, well, that doesn't seem true. And he was like, no, I really don't want to, I really don't want to grow my business anymore. And I was like, well, oh, what's, the, what's the reason you don't want to grow your business? He said, I don't want to grow it anymore because it is, uh, it's, uh, it takes too much time. So now that makes it, that makes, that, that's interesting. Oh, look at that. Got a nice little apartment for rent. So I was like, so you don't want to grow your business? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, it sounds like you just don't want to give any more of your time. He's like, yeah, well, that's kind of what it is. That's what we do all the time. And I know it. Work with hundreds of people. That's how it is, of course. You think it's one thing, but it's not. You think you don't want to grow your business, but no, you just don't want to, you don't want to give more time. What if you had to give an extra hour and you made an extra $5,000 a month, I told him. Then would you want to grow your business? He's like, oh, maybe. So it wasn't that he didn't want to grow his business, he didn't want to give his time. And that's a different, that's a different thing. Look at this, this is so beautiful, Waka. Look at that. That's a whole different mindset, guys. Not wanting to grow your business and not wanting, giving, not wanting to give more of your time is two different things. The way that you solve that, decisions you make, the questions you ask yourself are completely different in those two different scenarios. So that's why I say most people don't know. I've, I have never gotten on a call with someone who, and I've done hundreds of calls with people, and I haven't got on one where someone knew exactly what they wanted. Never. Not, not, not once. 
Because like one of the classic things that people will, will say is, you know, well, I really want to have more money. Like that's a classic thing that everyone says. And it's like, okay, so if you want more money, then why don't you just work a third, fourth, fifth job? And they're like, well, because I won't have time then. I'm like, well, what does time have to do with it? You wanted more money. And then it's like, well, well, actually, that's kind of the classic thing that I hear. If you guys jump on a call, you guys who have done a call, if you guys have done a call with me, can you guys leave that in the comments to let people know <laughs> how intense that can be? How intense that can be? Kind of like this, this intersection. <laughs> and, wow, it looks like there's like a shop. We might walk up here and explore this shop. But they'd be like, well, actually, I don't really want money. Actually, I really want to have some time as well. So I'm like, well, money's, so money's not the main thing you wanted. And they're like, well, I mean, it depends. And Dallas, like, well, now we're in a point of you don't know what you want. What do you know we got here? And my coaches that I've worked with in the past, they've got me to this point as well of me not really know what I want. Anytime I get a little bit lost, I'm not sure what to do, it's because I haven't made a decision. And why I need help from people and I enjoy feedback is because I often don't, I don't know, I'm not sure what decision to make. I'm not even sure what the options are. Because like most people, I have like blind spots. Can't see it. And one of the examples I use is like, like how do you explain to a fish that is in water? Where do you begin to explain that? Where do I begin to explain that? How do I begin to tell someone that? So one of the things I'll say, and maybe we'll have another video, I would take you guys around and we could walk a little bit more, but I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get on my bike and I gotta get out of here. It's a little hot and I'm in this hoodie. <laughs> but I wanna thank you guys for being here and, and I just want the best for you guys. And I want to, you know, I'm doing my coaching, I'm doing group coaching, posting content there. And, and there's times when I'm like, I wanna create a vlog and show people around where I am. And this is kind of one of the better ways that I'm able to do it. I'm able to walk around, show you, the area that I'm in, even though I don't know so much about all this, but I know this is the first line. First line of defense, very beautiful. And I wanna make sure that I'm adding a little bit of value to your life and giving you some value. And if you could, I'd love to know in the comments where you're from, you've stuck through the video this long, I'd love to know where you're from. And uh, what's the reason you watch this channel? It's a curious thing I have for the people who are still here at the end. And at the same time, I love your support. Like you guys who donate, who, who contribute to my channel, contribute to me, Guys, you make all, all this possible, to be honest. Like, to be able to do everything and even to have the, the life that I have, to be able to film it from getting the gear, from getting the hotels, from doing all this stuff that I do is in big part to the people here. And I wanted to say thank you. I appreciate you guys all. Hola. <laughs> I appreciate you all. I thank you for being here. And I'll speak to you guys all later. And in the meantime, remember, guys, you have a decision to make. Find out what the decision is. You can ask me. Schedule a call with me. Write me a message on Instagram. If it's something simple, I'll get back to you. But you gotta make a decision. You're not lost. You just haven't made a decision. That's it. So on that note, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you all later. And in the meantime, everyone always remember to work hard, be brave, and don't forget to smile. Ciao.